Sticks, welcome back to the kill stream, sir. Yeah, I'm here. How's it going, man? Pretty good, although I uh, I uh, misremembered actually what time zone I was on. And That's... so I was a little bit late. I apologize. No, that's okay. That's exactly what somebody suggested uh, in the chat, that that's probably what, what had happened. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's happened to me a bazillion times <laughs> while dealing, because the kill stream always operates in the Eastern time zone, even though I live in uh, Mexican standard time, which is basically mountain time. And they got rid of daylight savings time here. So once they it do... The, yeah. yeah, they got rid of it. And so... Once they do the fallback, I'm two hours behind on on East Coast time now. But once they fall back again in the U.S., I'll only be uh, I'll only be one hour behind again. And I can't wait for that to happen because my job is so much easier and I don't have to get up as early when that happens. But um, anyway, uh, okay. So how how should how should we begin here? Uh, first off, I realize there's some things you probably won't be able to uh, to talk about uh on some of the stuff that that's went on or allegedly you know yeah you i you can't i can't talk about the legal situation uh in full but i right. can say that i'm not guilty um it's bullshit and i have not been charged with any crime people uh they believe to they seem to believe that uh i've been charged with a crime it's actually not happened actually so you have not been charged by the district attorney is what you're telling nope. me Nope. I face no charges at this time. So do you expect that you will face charges? No. I expect to uh, be free and clear. It's just that they have a pre-crime sort of thing mm -hmm. in the state of Louisiana. Um, if you are, you know, alleged to have done anything wrong, you are immediately booked. And, you know, you go to jail. And then you have to uh, go to jail and then serve your time and hire an attorney, preferably. And uh, that's basically what happens. Well, I didn't even know that. I've never even heard of that, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pre-crime, it's pre basically. It's, it's unconstitutional, but uh, it's the way that it works. Now, uh, I will let the Super Chats come in, but I'm going to skip them while he's talking, you know what I mean, so I can just read them out. Um, no, I, I won't. I won't read that one out though, because uh, I don't <laughs> like Jesse P.S. But um, I, I don't think a lot he, of bullshit. Yeah, well, Jesse P.S. Is, is, is full of shit as always. Um, but uh, I hate even mentioning his name. But thank you for the three dollars. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I didn't know pre-crime. That sounds like some future futurist, like dystopian bullshit. Honestly, yeah. Um, that they could just arrest basically, you without a yeah. charge. Basically, you get arrested, you get booked, but you're not charged with any crime. They've not charged me with any crime under the sun. I do not face any criminal charges at this time, but I'm still being punished as though I was a criminal. Well, that, and it was hard to to get you out as well. For, uh, so we were watching uh, the quartering stream. Uh, you know, I know you do stream with him a couple times a week. And yep. I guess it happened, or he found out about it one of those days uh, when you were in jail. And so I I stream every day pretty much, right? And so I was, I heard he was talking about it. That's how I found out about it. And so we were watching him try to get you out. And it wasn't easy, uh, actually. It seemed like quite the ordeal uh, to even get you out of jail. So they can yeah, arrest he bonded, he bonded me out, thankfully. And so I can uh, wage my case from the outside. Uh, it'll be an easy easier. case. It'll be an easy case to wage. There's there's no evidence against me of any sort. Uh, I've done nothing wrong, and so I expect to be exonerated. So now let me ask you about. So there, there's uh, first off, what was the experience like uh, in jail? I know you've talked about it a little bit. I know a little bit about jail <laughs> myself, uh, probably more than you do actually, since I was there for a lot longer. Uh, but but uh, uh, what, what was your what was your thoughts on your fellow inmates? I got along pretty well with mine, but yeah, actually they were pretty based. Actually, they were pretty cool. They were helping each other. Like uh, there was this uh, one dude, uh, I think Hispanic, and he was in on second degree homicide charges. Actually, so he's looking at a long time potentially in jail. And uh, he was like uh, trimming up this older dude, this older dude who could barely walk. He was uh, trimming his hair and stuff like that. 
And that was basically my experience in jail. It was, uh, it, actually, people were very helpful towards one another. I wouldn't want to be on the woman's side, though, because they were roaring at each other like a bunch of cheetahs. And uh, ew, yeah, I'm very, very glad that I'm not trans. <laughs> You there know, was there was one there was one trans dude there and I'm like dude you fucked up royally <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> you poor fucking cock yeah the women uh, they throw down uh, I, I, t I they weren't really you know I was there for eight months uh, so it was a little bit longer um, but uh, most of the inmates like I said were you know there were a couple who were on some bullshit but um, most of most people were were friendly towards each other yeah uh, it, was, it was almost like a college fraternity yeah. or something like that yeah it was kind of like that uh, and you know you'd have your periodic you know if you live in close quarters with a bunch of men for eight months uh, you know, there is going to be some type of flare up ever once in a while. So, but it's usually over the television, actually, yeah. uh, over what was going to be seen that night or that day. Well, that on was TV. Fun. that was actually another funny thing in the uh, jail in New Orleans, at least the one that I was in. the The girls' side they have working television. On the men's side, it had been ripped off of the uh, yeah. off of the wall and and smashed, I guess. And so there was no TV there. It was the same thing with the uh, with the water fountains. The water fountain on the men's side didn't work. <laughs> Only on the women's side. It probably been used as a weapon, perhaps. Uh, uh, so I was in my pod. There's supposed to be two TVs to a pod. So the first pod I was in, I didn't like that pod. So I got myself moved off that pod on purpose. Uh, and so you could just you say like, I, a, like a like a cell. No, it's a pod, but it has like 20 cells in it, right? And it's yeah. like a cell block, but it's just smaller, so they call it a pod. Uh, and yeah, they have that uh, I just didn't like the vibe there. I was like, okay, I'm going to move to the other pod. It was the best decision I made the whole time I was in jail because I made some cool, cool friends in there. Even though really the friends you make in jail, you don't talk to them when you get out of jail. But, <laughs> uh, but I learned a lot, lost 100, 100 pounds while I was in jail as well. Although I gained it all back and lost it all again, uh, so that's good. But uh, regardless, yeah, you're uh, looking, you're looking good. Actually. Thank you, I appreciate that, brother. Um, and so, anyway, the first pod had two TVs and they both worked. The second pod had only one television, so it was a lot more yeah. competition over the programming. Um, now. Let me We're ask, gonna watch General Hospital. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much of that. You know, there was there was news coverage though. So most of the people in there didn't get really give a fuck about the news, honestly. Um, and I see my camera. I might have to fix that in a second. Look like it froze. Uh, most of the people in there didn't really give a fuck about the news. Uh, but it just so happened that the OG. Oh, spaghetti! Yeah, yeah, we're having some technical difficulties here, uh, but I'll, I'll fix that. It just so happened the OG actually cared about the news. Uh, also, we're back. We're back on. Everything's good except for my camera, which I'll either fix or we'll just rock with just the audio. Uh, I hate the webcam utility. My cam link shit the bed, and so oh, that's just, great. Uh, just relink it. Yeah, I'm trying to. Well, I, I tried to relink the cam link. I think it just burned out. Honestly, I need to get a new one. So I've been using the uh, EOS webcam utility, which yeah. is actually shit. Um, but just unplug it and plug it back yeah, in. Yeah, I'm gonna have should, to should probably turn the camera off. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I've been trying to do. But uh, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit more about your uh, jail time adventures uh, while I try to get my camera okay. back on. Yeah, I had uh, some fun adventures uh, when I was in jail for three nights. It felt like a week, actually. Uh, I made a video, and I was like, oh, here's why I was gone for a week, and it wasn't actually a week, but it felt like it. <laughs> no, they it literally put me in shackles uh, at one point, you know, to drag me before the judge. They literally put me in shackles, you know, the ones where you have it on your arms and on your legs. Yes, I've been shackled. they're connected like together. Yeah. The literal shackles, like, like it's living in the 1800s or something like that. And that was surreal. And uh, it, it, people were doing drugs the whole time. There was yeah. one dude snorting coke. 
there was another dude that was smoking weed and he had a bunch of friends with him and they got in <laughs> trouble. And I didn't because yeah, I'm not smoking fucking weed in prison. No, you'll catch not a charge. You'll crazy. catch another charge doing that is what you'll do. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm keeping my nose clean. I'm yeah. not going to rat on you guys, but Jesus Christ. No, don't do that either. <laughs> no, definitely. Definitely don't do that either. Uh, yeah, don't. you don't want to be. You do not want to be a narc <laughs> in prison. You do not want to be that dude on the cell block. No, you don't. I'm like, I'm not going to tell on you, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing with your life, dude? Also, I'm trying like hell to fix my camera. We may just have to do it like the old kill streams, uh, with just. I have no idea why it would break right at that moment. I keep, I keep hearing it beeping too. Yeah, yeah, that that's the camera mm -hmm. like uh, coming back and then leaving. I don't know. Oh, well, uh, babe, uh, no, no. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll just leave it like this uh, for a second. Uh, maybe just for the rest of the time, because I don't know that I can fix it. Uh, ah, God, that really fucking pisses me off. But anyway, um, so what about, so there there was this, and I don't know if you can comment on this or not, mm -hmm. uh, actually. So, you know, if you can, do so. If you can't, uh, that's Yeah, okay. I mean, the case is ongoing, so I have to be careful what I say, yeah. Right. Um, what about, um, there was some video release. Now the video to me looked odd. Um, I, you know, so I, I that's just my opinion. We, we did, we did look at it, uh, and kind of break it down a little bit, uh, beforehand. And it, it looked really odd. The editing on it looked odd and then it was released and then privated. I don't even know the, the source. There's a, there's on a it. reason that it was put on private. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I could. I, okay, all right. I'll I'll leave it like that, and then yeah, I won't I won't say anything more about that because it's uh, pertinent to an ongoing litigation, and not just my legal case, but a defamation case as well, involving more than one party. So uh, I can't. Uh, unfortunately, I can't talk about that. For oh, there you are. Well, that's just a picture of me, but we're, we'll, we'll we'll work with that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to make do. This is a old. You're stuff. kind of there. Yeah, I'm kind of here. This is more like a, a radio interview now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had to get something up there. We had to get something up there. Uh, okay, so you can't comment on the video, but you can say that there was a reason why it was taken down, and it's yeah. part of an ongoing. Yeah, there, there, case. there was a reason for that. All right, uh, and okay, so you can't comment on that. Um, yeah, no, I, here I'm. I'm. I'm intelligent. I'm not going to comment anything on the legal case until the legal case is done. Once the legal case is done, I'll be more than happy to tell everyone everything. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. I, again, I've been involved in some legal issues, even yeah. you know, really throughout. Shut, my shut life. the fuck up. Yeah, the don't, best advice don't, that you can have. Yes, it really is, and you know, there's certain things you can say, certain things you can't. Uh, but as far as going out there and you know, um, uh, talking a bunch of bullshit, uh, don't do that. Uh, yeah, do don't don't do that because the court of public opinion means nothing. It's only the real court that means anything. Now, what have you gotten as far as feedback, uh, you know, from people? Do, you some know, negative, have... some positive. But the thing is, I haven't been charged with any crime at all. This is all pre-trial stuff. I've not been charged with anything. So people, people are like, well, Stix Hexenhammer has been charged with, you know, the murder or something like that. No, I haven't. I don't face any criminal charges at the moment. Not one. Well, see, I didn't even realize that at all. Like the way it, the way it read was, you were you were booked in, but you know, police, the DA yeah, has was, to charge you. Booked, You're not, I've, but you I've haven't not been arraigned. Been charged with anything? That's R the whole point. Right. So there was no arraignment or anything like that. Just nope. there's there's not been an arraignment. You did and there have probably a, won't be. But you had a bail hearing, so but that's not the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but in in the state of Louisiana, um, this uh, is really weird. If state. they suspect you of any sort of crime especially something domestic which is is what they booked me in on right they automatically arrest you you automatically get arrested you're not charged necessarily but you're arrested anyway then you have to do you know certain things um it's basically pre-crime and it shouldn't exist and it's unconstitutional but uh, you have to sort of go along with it well yeah so I mean... to, to, be, to be to be clear i do not face any criminal charges currently so and again, people can send in any questions too. It depends on you know what the question is, whether whether you can answer. Uh, they or can not. ask whatever they want. Uh, right. Um, but um, 
what again i'm trying to uh, it's a touchy situation right uh, as far as, qu yeah. as questions go and um uh are you I, I would assume that the relationship again you can answer this or not I would assume that uh, that relationship uh, has come to a close, uh, but um, I will neither confirm nor deny this. Okay, that's fair for enough. Legal reasons. That, that and that's fair enough. And that, and again, that's why I asked it like that. I didn't even know if I wanted to ask it really. Uh, yeah, I have to. I have to be a little bit vacuous because it is an ongoing legal proceeding. Um, I'm very hopeful of my chances. I've got a crack lawyer. Is he considering the amount he charges? He better be a fucking good lawyer. <laughs> uh, but uh, but I, I can't confirm or deny many aspects of the case at the moment. And so, that's just out of that's that's just out of temerity. That's just because I'm being cautious and I'm, uh, I want to wage this case, clear my name, get it dropped off the docket, get it dismissed, and uh, then I can talk about it. All right, so Thomas Drake says, Sticks, will you be petitioning to get your pew pews back after this? For those who don't know, if you have a protective order, um, they don't let you have yeah. a gun, uh, basically. Uh, yeah, and, which is also retarded, but, you know. Well, it's unconstitutional, in my opinion, but, you know, they don't yeah. care about my opinion. Uh, they can also forbid you from talking about people and stuff like that, too, which is also unconstitutional. I could talk about this type of thing all day. Uh, but, it, but, but it actually makes sense, sort of. Uh, you know, you, you shouldn't yeah. be talking about them. Nah, keep, we're all keep true. Your fucking, keep your fucking mouth closed. Wade your case. And then after the case is done, then you can talk. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's a self-protection thing, and you're right. Uh, and it's gotten me uh, into some issues because, you know, I have a tendency to to run my mouth about certain <laughs> things uh, that I shouldn't uh, just because, you know, I feel there's a lot of lies told about, you know, you want to correct them. Uh, but well, honestly... It, it, yeah, I know, I know the feel. It's like, you know, half of the Internet is talking about me right now. It's like most of what they're saying is completely untrue. But I can't do anything about it. Right, exactly. Uh, and but you're doing the right thing, honestly, um, as far as uh, not not uh, engaging in that and and doing this limited sort of uh, interview. Uh, and I think just the fact that you haven't been charged and and you said you don't expect to be uh, is pretty pretty yeah, breaking. They don't, they don't breaking news there's here. no evidence because there was no wrongdoing. So you know, I mean, they can if they want to, but it'd be a uh, it'd be a little bit hilarious. That would be hilarious <laughs> to charge with no evidence. Sex and hammer charged with battery. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let me ask you. Uh, let, let me see here. Somebody sent me a, a question. Uh, I don't know if you can an answer this either, though. Mm -hmm. But um, if the, um, uh, the partner, former, or current, whatever, uh, the other party. Um, people have alleged that they posted on on kiwi farms and all this is that you can't i don't know if you can answer that or not Ki kiwi farms is full of shit most of what's posted on there is just fiction well i would agree with you there for sure <laughs> yeah yeah you've had that experience <laughs> <Yes>. yourself <laughs> we have no disagreements there whatsoever uh and i've also had a similar experience where what well, was an audio and not uh you know a video but it was hold on one sec and i'll wait wait I'll, I'll ask them all uh it was audio and um you know i was saying some things uh shouldn't have said but they turned that into oh have. now all of a sudden you know I'm uh, you know what, what what's the guy's name what uh, you're, you're the London Strangler or something yeah 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 you're what, you're the grapist yeah yeah I'm the grapist <laughs> what is it yeah supposedly, supposedly I throw things at people and and beat them up and uh, stuff like that yeah well, and well, and apparently it involves my ex-wife this was news to me because she's in the Netherlands at the moment. Yeah, well, you know, they take this recording, uh, and all of a sudden, you know, they try to turn you into the the Boston Strangler, and it's like, well, none of that actually happened. Now, I I did, you know, say some dumbass shit. That's true. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, you know. I mean, I've I've done dumb things too, and I need to get off the alcohol, and I admit to that. 
And well, I and I, that. and you yeah, know, that was, but I, I never strangled too. anyone. I never beat anyone up. That never happened. That's not even the allegation against me. No, it's not. And so, yeah. And so people can fuck themselves. No, I was just telling you, that's what the, that's what they try to say oh, about no, me. Yeah. I and, know, uh, yeah. yeah and uh, I can say I've never done either one of those things either, uh, but it, it still doesn't stop people yeah, supposed, uh, from saying. Supposedly we're two bad hombres, dude. Right. I, know, I was about to say, hombres. we were some bad motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this question because it came in from the Duke of Dudley. He says, uh, paying my tithe, long live the sector. Uh, from a Duke to a Kang, kudos to Lord Sticks for being the man of his household. Uh, it is refreshing to see a fellow man command mother. I don't know what a man command mother is. but um, it's, it's, a, it's, a re it's a regards to the... Uh the audio that was released. Okay. All right. Again, I didn't see. I, I didn't. do not appreciate niggers. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that one in the New Orleans jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, people, people would have been fucking fine with it, actually. They were among the most chill people I've ever goddamn met. Really? Yeah. I, well, I, yeah, you know, no, I had that experience I, I, too rather, when I was in I'd jail. I'd rather hang out with inmates in a goddamn New Orleans jail than the average person from New Orleans. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, I got along. There was only one or two tense moments while I was in jail, or you know, yapping. Um, there were no tense moments. On the well, I was there side, for eight months. I mean, you know, so it's a little bit different, right? Like a few days. Girls, on the girls' side, it's like tense moments is every ten minutes. Yeah, it does seem side, it's like just a bunch of bros hanging out, dude. Yeah, it does seem a little bit rougher on the female side, honestly. Uh, now we didn't get to see I'm the females too often. <laughs> we, yeah, we we didn't get to see them uh, too often, but it, it did sound a little bit rougher over there. You you did say something that uh, I don't think people realize that there's rarely a quiet moment. Maybe between like three and six a.m., maybe you might get some yeah. quiet moments, perhaps. Uh, but you have to get used to sleeping. Again, I was there for a lot longer. You have to get used to sleeping with people yelling. Uh, all, all different manner of, uh, you know, yeah, it's from, curses from like in there. Two to six, from 2 to 6 a.m., you get some sleep. Right, yeah. It Otherwise, doesn't... Before, before that, for several yes. hours, it's just people yammering and yelling. Yes, yes. For lights and out. It's or... like, but you enjoy it because, you know, you've got nothing else to do. Right, exactly. It's people yelling at each other, at least for in our, in our pod. It was people talking to each other through the doors, right? And they're yelling back and forth and joking back and forth and a couple times talking shit back and forth. Uh, but, yeah, that doesn't really slow down until about 2, two no, I was never in. I was never in the pod. I was just in the detention area and... Uh, people would would talk about going upstairs and that meant that you were going up to the actual uh, to the actual pods yeah where at least you at least you get a bed yeah and i heard you had to you didn't even get a mat that's fucking crazy actually no i didn't i didn't have a blanket i slept for three nights on the bare floor dude just that's on the bare concrete well, the, when I was first that when I f was first there before I got bailed out, um, which they tried to deny me bail, which was ridiculous because I had no felonies previously. It was, I don't know, it was ridiculous, but um, I had to sleep on just concrete, yeah. Uh, uh, and it was, it was uh, that that was the most terrible part. That and the food. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, the food. They didn't <laughs> have the neutral loaf, did they? Uh, no. Uh, Hell, everyone out there that's watching, um, jail food lives up to its reputation. Yes, it is. That's it's not it's a terrible. Joke. There it was really is that bad. It's there was one worse. good meal. The spaghetti was okay sometimes at night. Uh, sometimes, depending on who was making it. I I never got spaghetti. The only thing that was palatable was the applesauce. Yeah, well, and then there was chicken patties every once in a while. We would get. We uh, we didn't get those. No uh, there shit. Was, um, uh, there was some sort of meat. I don't know exactly what kind of meat it was because it was unpalatable and <laughs> didn't taste like anything. Surrounded by uh, surrounded by potatoes. The potatoes were okay. They were actually on point, but the meat was like uh, it was all grainy and yeah, like, weird and. Uh, well, they don't uh, serve don't real know. real beef or anything like that. So any kind of meat it was like is being like in fucking turkey, Rwanda, dude. some turkey, like the sausage you get in the morning. If you get sausage, 
Um, it's turkey sausage. That. What the fuck, man? It sounded like you. you nope. might, sounded like I was staying at the fucking Ritz Carlton compared to where you were. Um, Dude, whatever whatever jail you were in, I guarantee the food had to have been better. <laughs> it than... sounds like it sounds like <laughs> damn. I'm, I'm just sitting here it thinking, damn. I was eating a, the, a lot the better only than I thought. The thing that I had that entire three days was a fucking tangerine. <laughs> yeah, the fruit. And then, and the, the, mix, yeah. the mixed vegetables were all flaccid. I mean, they were edible. And they don't put any spice or salt, really, on anything. It's all bland. No, yeah, yeah. nothing, dude. Yeah, because... You don't get ketchup in jail. <laughs> I'm no. sad to say. No, no condiments, nothing like that. Um, no, no salt, no pepper. No nothing. salt, no pepper. It's because they don't want anybody... Compl- they just make it as bland as possible just so nobody complains about it, right? Um, and so... Uh, <laughs> bland is the name of the game in that fucking prison. Jesus H. Christ. Now, I, I have... First off, uh, we hit the goal. Let me hit the applause button because we did hit the goal. We're on to the yeah. extendo uh, here. And I had a question come in from Frosty Toad, a great supporter of the show. Uh, and appropriate that he uh, is the one who broke the goal. Uh, he said, stay strong, Sticks, and then he said, goal! Uh, and that's right, we did hit the goal. Uh, so we move on to the extendo. Uh, now there's a few questions here uh, that somebody sent me. Um, what if it doesn't get dismissed and the DA proceeds? That's unlikely to happen. There's literally no evidence against me. Even if it does proceed, eh, there'll be a plea deal or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you don't, to be clear, you don't have a criminal I'm, record, right? No, I, I've never been charged with a crime before. I've not been charged with a crime this time around either. Right, I was about to say, you that's still have been. That's the funny part. They, they haven't even fucking charged me, dude. This is all pre-crime bullshit. I don't face any criminal charge. Now, are they forcing you to stay in New Orleans, though? Or, you know, the um, county? I'm, I'm probably going to be least. allowed to travel back to Vermont uh, for the election and stuff like that. I don't have a problem facing trial or anything like that. It's just like, can you charge me, you know, actually have let a criminal trial? Yeah, you know? let, let me know. Because you're kind of in limbo with the whole situation, right? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's literally just pre-crime bullshit. I haven't been charged with anything. Yeah, and it's like, well, let me know one way or the other, right? So I can. <laughs> Am I a criminal or not in right. your reckoning? Yeah, and either way, I mean, uh, I wouldn't expect... Uh, I the the, the charges will fall like through whether yeah. they filed them or not. All right, now let's see. I have another question here. Uh, yeah. Now this was uh, again. You don't have to answer this, but th- this is more purient stuff. Yeah. This, well, I was sent this question, but um, they they were asking about the the presidential debate stream and were, was there any heat there about that? Um, I guess you got uh, ha- handsy or whatever, and uh, somebody w- wanted me to ask that question and. It it didn't look like anything to me, but yeah, it was it was it was a whole lot of do about nothing. I will point out that Donald Trump has actually accepted the town hall, which is good, uh, but he's going to be doing his on Fox instead of CNN. And so we are going to get a presidential town hall really? from uh, Donald Trump. Yes, yeah, he accepted. Wait, that. with he Kamala that earlier? No, no, Kamala's oh. going on CNN. Oh, so they're going to have a dueling yeah, town halls. Yeah, he bounced he bounced CNN, and then he said, "Well, I'll go on Fox." Okay, well, that's okay. I wouldn't do as another debate. I wouldn't do another debate with her because they're just going to use that as material. I, yeah, I, I, they're, they're just going to try to give her. Uh, they're just going to try to give her oxygen. Yeah, her campaign is foundering, so <laughs> there's no reason to justify it. Yeah, and the only reason I asked you about the debate because uh, mm-hmm. some a logs are I don't know if you know that term or not, but professional yeah. haters basically that don't get paid they do it for free, um, which is even worse. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> pro- imagine <laughs> imagine that you shitpost for a living but you don't even get any money for right, it. Right, that's what I'm saying. Um, but they were speculating somehow that was that was involved. That's the only reason I bring that up, and clearly I don't think that that had anything to do with it. Um, no. And so. And uh, PPP and Andy Worski had said that that proved that you assaulted women or whatever. Um, I, I don't. I'm, know I'm it... surprised. I'm I'm sad about Andy Worski. I, I I can understand PPP because he's been gunning for me for years. I thought Andy Worski was a bro. I had always gotten along with him. I had never had any problems with him, and now apparently he has a problem with me, and I. Don't exactly know why, actually. Well, I got news for you, Sticks. Uh, Andy Worski is a pro- he's actually a professional snake, uh, and so uh, not the first time he's he's done it to me as well. Uh, you know, you think you think you got a guy, I had, I a had, friend? Yeah, I had praised him before. Yeah. I, did, uh, I had never had any problem with him. 
I yeah. thought that we were uh, friend skis, so to speak. Yeah, he's a snake, and so if he thinks he it can make a super chat, uh, he'll he'll roll right along with it. He's, he's, so. He'll make ten dollars uh, pushing me under the bus, I guess. Yeah, and actually, the thing is, the thing is I don't even face any criminal charges. People need to understand I have not been charged with any crime. It's pre-crime nonsense right now. That's and, that's the name of the game here in New Orleans. If you face any any uh, 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 claim at all you automatically get charged. They don't have a choice. They have to charge you. They can't detain you otherwise. It doesn't mean that you actually face a criminal charge at all. I don't. I'm, I'm not accused of any crime. And there's been, and you have to be arraigned, of course, for that to happen. Yeah, they haven't uh, had an arraigned. So. Trigger sent $2. Oh, wait, let me see. I'll, I'll read that out. I could have just let yeah, that, the next, that one play. Yeah, the next uh, court meeting it has nothing to do with arraignment. It's just, I don't even know what it's about. It's some testimonial bullshit. Yeah, I, again, I their system sounds completely fucked, and of course, it's it's it's, <laughs> yeah. it, it's based on like French system too. It's like that's why they call them parishes yeah, it's not instead even of common law. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not common like law. you get in New England. No, it's, it's not common law. Completely different. Yeah, and people don't understand. That's why they call them parishes instead of counties. There's a whole different system. That's in, why in I'm Louisiana. never coming back to New Orleans again. <laughs> I'll let this, this one play this th next summer. I'm going to go to Hampton Beach in New Hampshire, oh, and I'm going to call it a day. Let me look. is a snake, probably legally retarded too. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, you, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, uh, Kino Casino's uh, top clip guy got exposed uh, for being uh, what they call down low. Uh, he's uh, basically married uh, with a wife, but uh, he fucks men on the weekends. Uh, so Why that, am I not surprised? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I gave them the benefit of the doubt, but if you want the. Uh, the uh, shirt rolled down, you know, it's all good. Yeah, I just thought you might like to know that. Uh, that's the type of staff they have over there. Uh, and so, not shocking, really, I like to say. Um, I'll, give, I'll give Andy Worski a pass just for now and give him the opportunity to contact me and explain himself. But I'm not going to give a pass to that fat bastard that he has as his co-host. Oh, yeah, and he immediately – I didn't watch the video because I hate this – look and sound of him uh but he immediately put out a video about it and this oh, proof sticks uh, you know did all this and sticks that texted him or got arrested well yeah dude i, I literally talked about it <laughs> yeah and you talked uh, some of the stuff you'd said in i'm your very videos. open about these yes <laughs> well and it's like i mean it was not a secret right like everybody saw it anyway right um i'm not sure how it first came out i i'd seen somebody's, a screenshot somebody's gonna foyer the uh, body cam footage and you're gonna see an extremely drunk six and a six action hammer <laughs> being paraded out through the uh, hotel hallway rambling to himself <laughs> They probably will uh, for for you, but um, they like to do that over on a certain forum. But I, I, by the way, I don't even mind. It'll be hilarious as uh, long as I can download it and watch it myself over and over again. Well, Perse Picasso's in chat, and he's been on the show. He says, "Well, they have to charge you with a crime to arrest you." So uh, he's he's, but you you're saying you've not been charged. No, uh, they can detain you um, under domestic charges. They can detain you for up to 72 hours. They do not need to charge you with a crime. Uh, I have not been charged with anything. And that's just a point blank statement. And I... Yeah, no, uh, technically speaking, I'm charged with domestic battery. Trigger sent to but there's no official charge. It, it does not exist. It's not there, which is weird to me. Also, I accidentally pulled, I don't know how that picture of Asmodor came up, but R.I.P. Asmodor, uh, fellow streamer, I accidentally switched. I don't even know how that popped up, but uh, R.I.P. to Asmodor. And go back and watch that tribute stream we did uh, if you get a chance. Um, I see Clouded Trigger. Uh, he, he said, Sticks interacts with women. I, under, I understand why Tubby is up, upset. He can't comprehend it. Um, maybe that's the problem. Uh, yeah, that, that just fat can't bastard, uh, he can't even talk to a woman. That's his whole problem. Yeah, well, I think he might be more of a... He's well, probably a faggot. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I think he might uh, swing the other direction, and we see the, the nature of their staff. So, Ooh, um, let me see your cock. <laughs> oh, so yummy. 
fucking retard. Yeah, I think that might be uh, that might be part of it as well. Mm, yum, uh, give me that shaft. Yeah, baby. <laughs> he's very <laughs> he's very catty like that too. I I, I don't know. I've I've had my suspicions. Uh, so I, I I have my suspicions about him too. Uh, Perspicacity in chat, and the reason I cite him is because uh, he's been on the show before as like a co-host. Um, but uh, he says, so you don't know if they'll prosecute. Yeah, he said that earlier. He doesn't know. He doesn't know uh, yeah, way. they're probably said, just going to drop the charges. Yeah. I, mean, I can't imagine. That, I mean, there is no evidence. I can't imagine that they're going to go through with the charges at all. It wouldn't make any sense. Well, it'd be just a waste of taxpayer money. Not that they're... You know, above wasting Yeah, they don't, they don't money, give a fuck but, about that. But, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not that they're they don't above care that. how much money they waste. Not that they're above that. But um, uh, now, let me see here. I think Cloud and Trigger sent in something else. Uh, let me refresh here. Again, if you have any questions, Sticks is being very open about the whole uh, situa uh, si situation. Excuse me. Um, now, that was just the same super chat. Um, yeah, there are only a few things that I have to be sort of quiet about, you know. For the, well, for the yeah, Facebook. I mean, you can't just sit here and give a whole rundown of the right yeah. because I mean, there still is the possibility they do try to go through with it, whatever. Even if uh, they do, I'm I'm not particularly worried. It's just well, no, I I don't think that they will. Right. All right. Um. And again, what's been the response from your from your audience? Have you got a lot of support? There's been no response. It's basically just people uh, saying, you know, keep the faith, so to speak. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, it really hasn't affected, um, you know, other than, you know, obviously, you know, this is something people don't want to go through, right? Uh, but uh, other yeah, than I that... Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I wish I was back in Rutland right now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've got to uh, deal with things here. But as far as, like, I haven't seen it affect, like, your numbers or your, you know, uh, tweeting tweet numbers or video numbers, and you're still doing your your daily streams and stuff like that and videos and so I'm always going to do those. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, so I haven't really seen it pu push push you off your game except for those few days or whatever. Um Yeah, a few hundred people have abandoned me, but you know, uh, those are people that were fickle to begin with. Yeah, it's not, their right. If they don't want to watch me, then I don't know, that's your choice, dude. That's right. I don't and, uh, I don't I don't look down on anyone for their decisions as far as their content creation sort of absorption. Well, and that's always been my mindset about it too. And yeah. you know, uh, I'm lucky enough to have a core of people uh, who support me, uh, no matter what bullshit is said. And uh, I know you're the same way. A lot so. of bullshit said about you, by the way. There are. There is a lot of bullshit said about me. And one reason, uh, and I'll pause this for a second. Uh, you've always been great about uh, not participating in that, uh, and still, you know, coming yeah, on the never show. Will. And uh, so I want to thank you for that publicly uh, because I don't I don't give a fuck about uh, e drama. Yeah, and I he... watch I watch people for their content, and I don't watch them if I don't like the content. Mm, that's it. Right, uh, and you've always been cool about debates, and you never said, "Oh, they're saying this about you," and uh, I need yeah, an explanation like, for that, <laughs> right? Or I can't come on the show anymore. And there have been some people. Uh, you know, who, who, who'll do that to you, uh, and you're not one of those people, and so I've, I've always appreciated that about you. So, uh, I think I just we just to... got a super chat, actually. Yeah, we did, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. Uh, Sticks has prison changed your perspective of life, and it wasn't prison; yes. it was just jail. Yes, but... actually, a little bit. It was just jail, not prison. Um, it has it has convinced me that inmates are much more based and much more red-pilled than we give them credit for. That is that the people that are booked into jail actually are among the best people in the world, and they deserve uh, more of a break. Well, I feel the same way. <laughs> uh, and uh, if I think if people would have to do some type of scared straight program or whatever, or spend a day in jail or, or here yeah, and there. Yeah, give them community service or something like that. Yeah, but I, I, I really think... Um, uh, the jails are filled with a lot of people who shouldn't even be there, really. Um, and some, yeah, people, some people have to I be there. If you kill people, people, obviously, you know, you have to go I met, to jail. I met all sorts of people there. They're in on minor charges. Yes. They're looking at months in jail for absolutely no reason. The system is fundamentally fucking broke. It's completely fucking wrecked. People don't even understand this. These are the, This is somebody's son, somebody's daughter. They're in there for five or six months 
Why? Because they jaywalked? Because they smoked weed? That, that this is the reason why half of these people, or half of these niggas are in there? It, 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 fucking bullshit. Yeah, and for people who don't know, weed's illegal in, in Louisiana, yeah. and they will lock you up <laughs> for having marijuana. Yep. Uh, You'll get a couple of months in jail because you smoked a reefer. How does that feel? Well, and when I was coming up in Arkansas, if you got caught with weed twice, you got an automatic year in jail. Uh, yeah, now they've, Kamala loved to do that. Yeah, Kamala locked up plenty. That's right. Uh, plenty of black people she locked up, matter of fact. Third, uh, third time's a charm. Yeah, but... Um, They've since loosened the laws there, and now they have medical marijuana and all this stuff. And I yeah, think they it's, fully it's legalize it now. Technically, in Arkansas, here, but you yeah. know, only technically because there's no dispensaries. So right. Um, and so I, I, I was going to ask you, um, what what's been the worst part, I guess, about the whole thing? The worst part about this whole thing being apart from my girlfriend, because I'm not allowed to talk to her under court order. That's the worst part. I don't care about anything else. Any other penalty they can throw at me means nothing to me. I don't care if they put me in jail for six months. Was well, a very it would uh, be it answer. would be it would be more than laughable. They can't punish me. I don't give a damn. Very honest answer. Um, what's been the best part about it? If there has been getting, the best part, getting sober. Though though there is a good part, getting sober. Um, I had been a drinker for a very long time. I had been drinking for years. I haven't had a drink since I got out of jail. And so now I'm stone cold sober and I'm very, very happy. I'm saving a lot of money. Yeah. I'm saving a lot of time. I'm doing a lot more work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it just and makes I you... wanted, And I wanted to tell everyone in your audience out there, if you are a drinker, fucking stop. Just stop. Hold turkey. Don't worry about it. Just stop. It's the well, best thing that you can do. I would have to echo that. You know, I've had struggles with alcohol uh, myself yeah. pub, pub, in public, uh, you know, on some of these streams, etc. cetera. Uh, and first off, saves you money. You're, you're way more productive. A lot of, uh, a lot of money. Uh, you're way more productive. <laughs> you're, you're snappier uh, in your videos with your content. Uh, you have better recall in your memory. Uh, and, of course, the yeah, longer you... I was looking back at my videos yeah, over the last week, and I was like, what the fuck? Why was I drinking this entire time? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It improves your content. Uh, you have better recall. Uh, and the longer you stay off alcohol... The more mm -hmm. those benefits grow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so um, I'm glad to hear you say that. And of course, uh, you know, I'm sober now myself, but I've had my yeah, I'm joining I've the Freemasons and the yes. OTO. <laughs> now, all right. Uh, I'll. Uh, I think that's about all the questions I have on the incident. Unless, unless somebody wants to, um, you know, send another one super chat in or something like that. But I mean, you're not even charged with anything. Uh, sounds like you're pretty confident that it's going to be uh, settled in your favor. And yeah. so uh, I'm glad you could come on here and address that. I wanted to ask you a couple of political questions, of course. Uh, if that's okay here at the towards, yeah. towards the end. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with the election? Trump wins. How big? Is it going to be a nail biter? Um, it's, it's not going to be a nail biter, but it's not going to be a blowout either. It's going to be somewhere in between. I think that Trump will win. I think that he gets um, he gets North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, and either Wisconsin or Michigan, and uh, thereby wins the election with over 300. Uh, it'll be over 300. You know, yeah, he'll get over 300, but not far over 300. And uh, then the liberals will melt down, as they always do. Now you've seen the 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 shines kind of come off Kamala, hasn't it? Uh, the last yeah. uh, few weeks, and you can see it in the polling too, where they're like, "I'm not sure about this bitch." Uh, right? Like uh, <laughs> now, when she first came out, I have to say, uh, first off, they did Biden super dirty. I mean, uh, the dirtiest trick I've ever oh, seen in politics. Oh, he got fucked in the ass. By Obama. Too. I almost I, uh, I almost feel sorry for Joe me Biden. too. I'm not kidding, literally. <laughs> Uh, I literally do. Clouded trigger said Will he win the Rumble. popular vote? Will he win the popular vote? Um, no. I don't think so either. <laughs> no. Uh, well, it's because of the giant liberal, you know, California, basically. 
<laughs> this California, reason, New York, yeah. yeah, California and New York. That's basically the reason. Um, now, um, what do you think about um, Trump's debate performance? Do you think it, I didn't think it was as bad as the media made it out to be? Now, you could say he did he reasonably made, well. Yeah, I mean, you could say he lost or, or you know, it was a draw or whatever, but I don't think he was like um you know like a, ter a terrible performance like they made it out to be like this all-time disaster but also, they always do they always yeah. do that though right basically and anytime that donald trump opens his mouth the legacy media is right there to say oh my god he hung himself oh my god he said x y and z oh my god he was so terrible and that's but it's far for the course they do that every time he opens his mouth anyway so it doesn't really matter Right, and that's also why I think that um, he shouldn't do another debate because that's just... He is going to do a town hall on uh, Fox News, apparently, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, too. Town hall, perfectly fine with that, but I don't think, I don't think he should do another debate because the momentum is shifting already. Um, don't give the legacy media another chance to spin it like they did last time. Uh, yeah. And I think he feels the same way, obviously. Yeah. Um, and Although I think that he probably should have taken up CNN town hall, even if it's adversarial, if he's doing a Fox News town hall debate, uh, that's perfectly fine too. Yeah, I as mean, long he, as as long as he's matching Kamala. Yeah, I mean he could have done that, but I mean, trusting CNN, like I, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I don't know. He's gotten burned a couple times, and. You know, even they during, were actually it was odd. CNN. They were actually oddly fair during the Biden the, debate. Uh, yeah, no, they uh, they actually did a good job. Yeah, but I would say ABC was not fair. Uh, oh yeah, I love this ABC, you know. Yeah, and and even in the VP debate, they weren't oh. supposed to fact check uh, during that debate, and then all of a sudden they mm -hmm. were fact checking, and Vance called them out, and then they stopped. Uh, but they weren't supposed to be fact-checking. I hate that term anyway uh, because it's bullshit most of the time, right? Uh, and then second off, yeah, it's um, not really fact-checking. It's not really, yeah, it's not, right. It's not really fact-checking. Anti-fact-checking. Yeah, it's, it's more like bullshit. Uh, <laughs> bullshit spreading is more is more what what it's like. But also, I feel like the candidates should be able to say whatever they want, either side, and the voter decides right uh not the yeah. media sitting here he said this and actually the mayor of this town told us that and da, da, da. no let the voter make up their mind that's the way it's always been until i guess maybe that fat bitch candy crowley kind of started the whole uh fact check thing what was that with with uh romney i think i can't remember now but that was the first time i really remember the moderators like actually involving themselves yeah the and, live fact checking was sort of a 2012 thing yeah 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 that, it was with like romney and carrie yeah yeah that's what i that's what i recall too um and it, before that i i never really even heard of that you've been on my well, show if you, would, if you were trying to fact check george w then <laughs> you would have had you would have had a job <laughs> Yeah, uh, the good, I'm not a neocon fan. Uh, <laughs> don't, I could talk about that for for hours, actually. But yeah, that wasn't really a thing until then. And now it's like, you need to correct them immediately. And it's like, well, that's not the point. You've been on my show uh, for, I don't know, 10, 20 debates. I don't sit there and fact, fact check somebody. I let the audience decide, as it should be. Uh, and the moderator shouldn't Good be... Good luck fact checking me. <laughs> <laughs> but also the moderator like should be in the back seat. Like, maybe ask yeah. a question here or there, but you know how I like to do it on my show. Actually, I like to let the participants uh, debate themselves. Really, you know what I mean? Where I don't really ask that many yeah. questions. Um, and it's kind of just the topic is out there. And then they question each other back and forth. I feel like that's a much more productive uh, format. Yeah, that uh, makes more sense. But that's uh, it's lost on the legacy media. Yeah, and every time I and tune you know, in, they don't understand this shit. But wouldn't that be? And plus, it's more entertaining, right? You know what I mean? Imagine if Trump and Kamala just went out there and threw down and questioned each other back and forth <laughs> uh, with no like you know set list of questions that the ABC News team Kamala, set up. Kamala would be demolished. That's the well, whole yeah. point. That's yeah. the reason she won't do that. Plus, it's just so it's so um, 
I, I don't know. It's just like so old timey and, and usually it's bo boring most of the time too, the way they have it laid out. I mean, just let them throw down blood sport style. Uh, that that's my opinion. And if it gets out of hand or if you have to step in, or if you have a follow up question on, on something somebody said, I feel like that's fine. Uh, but, uh, for the most part, you see how I do it. Every once in a while, I'll step in and ask a, a question or clarification on something or whatever. But um, I, I like yeah. to sit back and the moderator shouldn't be the star of the show. Uh, that's not what a debate's about. They should be in the back seat, uh, and that's my feeling on that. So, so, uh, so we're not Kino Casino. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not Kino Casino. Uh, and that really is, man. You know, you go back to that. That really is dirty. How Worski did you? Um, because I you know, don't even a fucking understand. Well, you know, he, uh, you, you were basically he helped friend. make his career, though. Like, I mean. Um, what was it? The debate I still you were want on to with... talk to him. If he uh, contacts me, I'll be more than willing to contact him. Well, and yeah. Talk to him. Well, it's I like, mean, you know, dude, you know, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But you were on one of the most famous uh, streams of of this era, I guess uh, you could say, uh, with with Richard Spencer, and I think wasn't yeah. Sargon on that stream too? I can't remember. Yeah, it was Spencer and Sargon, and uh, who are we fighting against? I can't remember. Yeah, it was written up in uh, scientific literature. It's literally become part of history. Yeah, who all was on that stream chat? But anyway, it's it was one of the more famous. It was, like made Worski lie basically uh, that stream, and for him to stab you in the back like that, um, just I don't for understand. Money, I don't I've done either. nothing to him. Right, and it's all you know. You haven't haven't even been charged, or much less convicted. No, no uh, I, I, I haven't been convicted of any crime at all. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret, and you probably know this. Uh, it's not innocent until proven guilty in America. It's actually guilty oh, until proven innocent. Yeah, and uh, it's a shame uh, because you're taught in civics class growing up, right, uh, that uh, innocent until proven guilty and this, yeah, that, and the other. And, you know, I, I – I, Good luck, dude. Anything the state puts out, I'm even with Diddy. Now, he looks very guilty. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? Diddy's guilty, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I, I can't, I'm not going to defend him. But okay. I'm, I'm not going to defend I'm Diddy. not going to defend him, but convict him, right? He still owed his day in court, right? Go, go on and convict him if you can. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they're going to be able to. I face, I, face one, I face one misdemeanor charge that I haven't even been charged with. Yeah. That's the long and short of it. But and, and stuff like with Ricada too, and it's like all this stuff is put uh, yeah, into no, a document. Yeah, I, I put my I put my foot out for him. And it's like uh, he hasn't been charged with anything. Uh, they're saying that he does like fuck tons of drugs and crazy shit like that. Well, where's the proof? There is none. None. There's absolutely no proof whatsoever. Yeah, and again, oh, fucking poor bastard. He, he has to be. Uh, he has to suffer, but he has no charge against him. Well, and also, it's like he, you know, it's he doesn't have any previous offenses. Uh, he's a member of the bar. Um, I'm assuming yeah, he, he's he a paid a lot of taxes, dude. right? Like he made a lot of money on YouTube. I imagine he's it's, it's paid a lot of money to the possible. state. It's entirely possible that he's used cocaine. But I have no yes, proof of it. That's possible for sure. Uh, but who cares? And first I off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck do I even give a shit? Oh my god, he snorted a line. Holy shit. Right, yeah. What a terrible, terrible man. Oh my god, Nobody he did else drugs. Has ever used drugs. Nobody else has ever used drugs. It's just ridiculous, honestly, the pure Puritanism, uh, however you fuck you say. I that. fucking hate it. Uh this and... is this is why I'm not a conservative. Well, that's why I'm not either. <laughs> now, I, I lean to the right because you have to, basically, if you got any sense yeah, these I days. Yeah, I lean to the right because, you know, I don't want to pay more taxes. But uh, other than that and guns, sh fucking well, leave and, my drugs alone, dude. Yeah, and free speech, I'll say. Uh, although some on the right are kind of dodgy on that when it comes to criticizing uh, yep. a certain uh, Middle Eastern state, uh, et cetera. I, I You're won't... not allowed to <laughs> criticize Israel. Well, it's ridiculous, dude. Uh, and it used to be a, a tenant of the left. Le many on the left are like that, too, uh, actually. And it used to be, I saw a poll yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I saw that, yeah. Uh, where, I don't know if it's, if it's the same poll, but um, there it was like 
of Republicans and like over 50% of Democrats, men and women, believe that hate speech is already against the law. Uh, and they believe it's that. Bullshit. What? Yeah, because it's not. <laughs> it's not against the law. I can say nigger as much as I want. <laughs> you can definitely do that. Um, but it's not against the law. Um, other things are, are like not only hate speech, but misinformation. They thought that was already against the law. It's like, no, it's not against the law to, to lie. Now, if you libel it's somebody. Not, believe it or you, not, it's not against the law to uh, go against the grain. Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. And so I don't know. I've just um, I'm just stunned at how stupid people are. Um, and oh, there's there's an old quote. I think it was I don't know if it's P.T. Barnum. I forget who said this, but um, it was basically you'll you'll never lose money by overestimating the stupidity of the American people. Uh, something that like that. P.T. Yeah, Barnum. Something, something like that. Um, and sadly, uh, it's true. Um, and so... It's sad, too. Can you imagine that we're living in a reality where that sort of quote is true? Yeah, well, and it's not gotten any better. It's gotten only worse. It's the problem. And that was like... That quote's from like 1920 or something, right? Like, yeah, uh, the, com the computer was supposed to enlighten people, to elucidate facts for people so that they could, you know, actually understand what was going on. Unfortunately, it has made them dumber. Well, you know, I've found also, especially on world politics... I live in Mexico... Uh, in Merida here in the Yucatan, and yeah. it's, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, but your even your average ev everyday Mexican. I'm not saying they're everybody here's Mexicans are based. Yeah, well, they have been to me, I'm, and I'm not gonna say they're all geniuses, but they seem to be way more plugged in on world politics and how things actually go. Oh, like the average yeah. American doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. I only I only know about the uh, protocols of Zion because of my uh, Mexican ex-wife. <laughs> I have no idea what document you're talking about. Um, but, um, <laughs> but it does, t it t tends to be that like they're, they're more, just more plugged in on the world stage. They understand more about geopolitics, even just your average, you know, 80, 90 IQ Mexican seems to know more. Um, and I, I, yeah, people, it's, people need to understand Mexicans are pretty based. No, they really are. Uh, they're very based. Uh, and like I said, I've gotten along great here, even with my lack of Spanish, which I need to adjust. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm full gringo. I'm full gringo. Um, so Trump victory. I'm trying to think of one more political. Oh, oh. Je français, mais juste Deux ans à l'école secondaire. What did you think about the Vance pick? And how do you think he's turned out since? Actually, I hated the pick, but I think he's, he's really good. turned it around since. That's what I think. He's, yeah, he's he's definitely, uh, he's he's done himself well. Yep, and he, JD, JD, JD Vance has definitely done himself well. I agree. At first, he job. stumbled, and I didn't like it. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" Put, I would have liked to have seen um, Tulsi actually, uh, because I think that yeah. would have softened his image with women, and she's the Kamala killer already. Um, but she would have destroyed fucking Kamala. Yeah, right, Harris. exactly. Um, but I understand why you know JD's tied to some big donors, and also you know across. She, it, yeah. it, it would be a cross-party ticket, basically. Uh, it's kind of unprecedented uh, in modern politics. So uh, I understand why it didn't happen. But uh, I will say, and I've said this since two weeks in, he got a lot sharper. He was hitting back at the media. And he's also lost some weight. They were calling him fat at first. He's dropped about 20 pounds uh, since since he started as well. So uh, I think he's on that yeah, rough weight dude, loss plan. The dude has been uh, doing a weight loss program. You can tell too, can't you? He's a good dude. I think uh, here's the thing. Like, let's say that Kamala Harris is uh, is registered in. She's uh, elected president. Jesus, don't make me. Tim, Tim, Tim Walls is not going to do a good job. Let's say that Donald Trump is elected. Now, I want him to serve as president. I want him to serve for four years. But if something happens, would I be comfortable with, with J.D. Vance? Absolutely. I think that he'd be fine. Well, I would be now. He wouldn't be perfect, but he would be acceptable. I would be now. I'd say those first... 
I wasn't impressed with the RNC speech. I wasn't impressed with some of his early appearances, but I think yeah. I, I would be now, honestly. Uh, and he actually owns part of Rumble. I don't know if you know that. Um, I don't know if he still oh, he does. does, but he was an early investor uh, in Rumble itself. That's what I'm talking uh, about. And he actually brought up uh, free speech on the internet and censorship during his debate with Walls, which I was just like, wow, this is... You know, usually you don't hear that, right, from a mainstream I didn't candidate. See that. Yeah, he did bring that up uh, towards the end of the, de of the debate there. So um, I don't know. I was just really impressed. Um, I'm not going to keep you all night because we've been here for about an hour, uh, and I think we we covered you know all the drama and stuff like that. Um, if there's anything you could do, um, if you could go back and change about all this, what would you if do? If I could go back, if what I would I do different? Back. If I could turn, turn back the hands of time. Yeah. Turn back time. I'm singing an R. Kelly song. Maybe I, I shouldn't do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything you could do differently, I think I know the answer uh, already. But yeah, I would, I would definitely, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would turn back time, and you know, I would find a way. <laughs> And probably not have quite as not have, drink. <laughs> uh, and yeah, had, fuck drinking, fuck alcohol. It really does get you know. I had a setback it's, in the summer. It's fucking retarded. It's like you spend all this money and uh, you get drunk for a little while, and uh, doesn't even then, last that uh, long. Nothing else happens. Yeah, you get drunk. Uh, maybe if you if you limit it, but you know once you get into the habit, you know I don't have to tell you. Uh, you start drinking more and more. You're making poor decisions. Exactly. You're spending money, and you start adding up the money, and it's like, damn, I'm spending a few a few hundred it's dollars like, a month shit. on alcohol. Like, what the fuck? Like, and you think about the productivity, and you know, I don't give a fuck. You're falling asleep when you when you should be, you know, clipping and doing stuff like that. At least for me. Um, so I don't know. Um, anything to say here? Uh, at the end, towards the haters and the losers, uh, as Trump would say. The haters can fuck my ass. <laughs> the losers can suck my cock. <laughs> yeah. And anything to say, well, we're final go. comment uh, to the, uh, we call them the homo casino nowadays, uh, the because they're going to play oh, this whole thing. God. They said they were going to stream every day this month. They haven't streamed any day this month. I'm sure they will play this interview in its entirety on oh, their show. So do you have any, well, what else are they going to do? Um, do you have any uh, parting shots uh, for them? Uh, you can go fuck yourself, dudes. Very cool. I used to uh, respect Andy Worski. I don't anymore, unfortunately. I'm well, so sad. Well, I can say this. I never respected him, but I used to be friends with him. Uh, and <laughs> I used to, too. <laughs> I never really had respect for him, but because uh, he's I a used moron. To too. But... I, I used to be friends with him. Yeah. Uh, he was a bro. He, he... I don't understand why he has a problem with me. Well, I just don't understand. You, well, you you have to understand the real Warski is an operator, uh, and he he will turn on a dime, and he's always talking behind your back. I found out the hard way. I won't go into the whole Warski spill. I hope to uh, reconnect with them. We'll see. Uh, I wouldn't count on it though. But uh, I thank you for giving me this. This was your idea to come out here and address it yes. uh, on the kill stream. I think it's the perfect venue, uh, honestly, and keeps it off your channel, right? Like, and people can come and check it out if they want, uh, and it doesn't have to clog up your content. And um, and now it's been addressed, and and you can move forward from it. And so I I, I thank you for giving me the the exclusive uh and uh exclusive. exclusive kill stream exclusive uh and yeah, baby. and next time we have you on let's get you in a debate man let's let's get another debate cooked up uh that's what i would like we will get it we will get it uh sticks hex and hammer plug your stuff man tell people where they can find you if they don't know already i've got my blog spot it's uh in the uh, link in the description <laughs> and also the uh <laughs> wordpress <laughs> very cool my wordpress is down actually uh the rafferdor.com but uh i thank you again for coming on i wish you the best um i i've questioned this thing from the start uh and you know i'm on your side so um i wish you the best and it sounds like things are gonna 
probably just go away. Yeah, things so, will be fine. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, have a good one, and uh, keep in touch. That's what I'm talking about. Farewell, sir. Very well. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.